A pickle is a, essentially a preserved fruit or vegetable done in a vinegar or a salt solution. It's great. It's a great way to preserve things yeah, and to make sure that you don't waste anything. I will eat anything pickled. Pickled onion, pickled cabbage. I pickle whatever there's available. We decided to have a pickle competition for learning and exchange. And it was very, very diverse from a lady that brought in her plum chutney that she makes every year and has been doing for some time to Lee the winner of the competition who brought her kimchi in put the um, spices or the marinade in there and leave it and let the marinade works its magic a bit like this Japanese one which is a miso suke which is marinated in miso you leave it for 10 days and it takes on the the miso's uh, characteristics. So I made um, an achar, which is a very South Asian pickle. It's basically spices with a tempered mustard oil. And um, to give it sort of relevance to here, I've used heritage carrots. It's got purple and orange carrots. Uh, normally we just use carrots back home. So. The divide between the decadent West, which uh, pickles in vinegar, which we consider to be a kind of consumerist uh, abomination, and the real uh, Eastern Bloc pickling, which is done just with salt and tamping it down into a barrel. Carrots, radish. Uh, mushrooms, I put a chili in there. It's in a pickling liquor, but it's only been in there for like about three hours. So this, okay. it, everything's going to be quite crunchy still, or it should be, I think. I'm making a soy pickle, shiitake pickles actually. It's going to go on the cake shop menu. It's a quick pickle that can be used fairly straight away. Cherry vinegar, ginger, red wine vinegar. So I'm going to let them simmer for 20 minutes and then bottle them up. And they'll be on next week's menu. This isn't a fermented pickle, like something like kimchi is a fermented pickle. These are just a quick vinegar pickle, so there's subtle variations on the thing. It became a very interesting little mushroom that started growing into the ginger and mint itself. We've discovered it's very good with stilton and not with gels. <laughs> so you've got a week to ferment, a week to dry hop, and then about two months to condition it in the bottle. So quite a long time. Ten weeks. You reckon? Yeah, about ten weeks. Right. One of the prizes is a guy called the Art of Fermentation. So we asked if we could bring it, and people seemed quite excited about us bringing beer. So that's why I don't think you can call it a pickle. <laughs> it's a really simple process. It's tasty and it's fun. You don't have to do a huge amount. You may have some vegetables that you want to preserve. They make great gifts. Also, I guess there's a bit of that David and Goliath struggle again. Of, being dissatisfied with the big providers of food and alcohol and saying, actually, we can do this. We can make a quality product that tastes good, that is better for you. And people are running with it and setting up businesses. I think it's great. I think I OD'd on pickles. <laughs>